my name is Caroline Gargett and I work in the Ritchie Centre at the Hudson Institute of Medical Research. So endometriosis is where endometrial tissue, which is the lining of the uterus, which is, grows every month and is shed during menstruation, when it grows outside the uterus in other places, like in the pelvic cavity or on the ovaries. It causes severe pain, pelvic pain and, in, um, and infertility, and it affects 10% of young reproductive age women. For the endometriosis, we've been using the markers that we found, the specific markers, to, to quantify them. Like we've quantified them in menstrual blood, and we've been quantifying them in the pelvic cavity and when a woman is menstruating in both normal and endometriosis. This was a very challenging study. That's what we can do to help us understand the, the cause and the pathophysiology of the disease because we still don't know the cause of endometriosis. And women, who, through a process, have identified the 10 most pressing research questions that they think. The second one is to find the cause of endometriosis. Yeah, NH and MRC funding is incredibly important. I think the peer review, investigator-driven research is the best research that will benefit the community the most. It will be the ones that will find the most things that need to be found or discovered and then to be translated into the clinic. Well, my greatest hope is actually to raise up some young career researchers who, who can lead um, endometriosis research. Secondly, endometriosis research is in desperate need of funding and, and it's been underfunded for a long time. So that news from Minister Greg Hunt at the Parliamentary Friends of Endometriosis Awareness of targeted funding for endometriosis research is just a major advance and, and, and a major help and I think Australia-wide we can all work towards um, um, increasing our knowledge and, and understanding of endometriosis, developing new treatments from that targeted call and this will be a huge benefit and move things forward for, for women with endometriosis.